Mamas, lots of shops. Kind of a place. Get your beer. on. Kids corner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here's the gang. Thirteen pints. <laughs> Guinness. Guinness. Thank you. Thank you. The Intrepid Explorers arrives in an Irish bar in Gibraltar. I can't see whether it's taking you or not. Fucking distracted me now and I'm in the middle of it. I can. Oh yeah, it is. Right, <laughs> <laughs> go on. But, action. <laughs> the intrepid explorer <laughs> arrives in O'Reilly's Irish bar in Gibraltar. Joseph, turns out, is coming to the end of the line for his trip. We have an anchor put aside for him. We're going to tie a bit of chain around his neck. And he's going for a swim. <laughs> he's leaving us, aren't you, Joe? You're going to leave us. Yeah. And he was great, lads, wasn't he? No, he was. He was great, he was. He was something else. In actual fact, he was a bit of a lifesaver because only for Joe Rich, Joe Blake Rich, sorry, he was full time, we probably would not have made this trip alive. We'd have sold this boat and we'd have flown home to Portugal with our tails between our legs six weeks ago. But we didn't. We didn't. And here we are. We sailed from Left Canada to Tropia, from Tropia to Pazuoli, from Pazuoli to Circea, from Circea to Corsica, from Corsica to Toulon, from Toulon to Marseille, from Marseille to Gavad, Afghan. Agda, 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 Agda. Thank you, Julian. From Agda to Lucat, from Lucat to Roses, from Roses to Barcelona, from Barcelona to Denia, from Denia to Benidorm, from Benidorm to Garucha, Garucha, from Garucha to Marmanor. Maybe those two are the other way around. I'm not sure. And from Marmanor or Garucha to. And Merry Man. Hello, good job. Beer? Yeah. 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 Thank you. Good along with And from El Merry Man to Gibraltar. So here we are. In an Irish bar. Again. Thank you. Start and finish in an Irish bar all day. Thank you. Well, Riley's. Look at that. I'm going to take one of those now.
34,000 people and 200 monkeys. The monkeys that eat up there, sometimes they come down to town shopping. They like uh, ice cream, chocolate. From the beginning of the road to the end of the road. For one reason, to protect you from the people. Oh, it's a force. That view again we had coming in from the sea, but nowhere. Halfway up the rock. Just don't look down. Just don't look down. Hello, monkey. I don't do height. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh. Ha ha ha! 
bit of action. <laughs> This is the oldest tunnel, he said. It's like 400 meters or something of it. Enjoying refreshments on a sunny day. I'm not sure that's going fast enough to take off now. <laughs> Very 
very cool. Little chalets on the marina, in the water. And they've got engines on them, I can't see people driving them around, but they're set up. We're off for a stroll. And if you come out the marina gate and turn left, instead of turning right for Gibraltar, you're in La Línea, which is the Spanish side. And so we're just out for a walkabout. Nights in the fabled La Linea Gibraltar, the intrepid explorers decide that it is time to proceed. And we leave in the early hours, slipping away unnoticed and on towards Cadiz. seen a single orca yet, not one. Alright Greg, do you see any orcas? No orcas yet. Oh, and on we go. Something about coming through this trail it feels like the beginning of the end of this trip. The sun is up. Another glorious day. Through the Straits of Gibraltar. I'm going to try and catch a fish. It's very calm, there's no wind, so we might as well be doing something. Let's see if we can have a bit of fish for dinner tonight. Let's see. We're just coming to the end of the Strait of Gibraltar. We're passing that cardinal boy is over there. So stay south of me. And uh, this lighthouse here is basically Land's End. It's called Tarifa on the uh, Spanish coast. And once we turn this corner, we're going to head due north to Cadiz, 51 nautical miles away. There's that great fella. Couldn't catch a fish to fucking save his life, that fella. Two rods again, we have him. We've tried all sorts of different lures, and we're having shag all of them. However, we're watching the sea, so it's entertaining enough. You know? We haven't seen a single orca. We're checking online, and apparently they've moved on. They've gone somewhere else. And uh, it's about time we made a turn, I suppose. We're going to turn away up the coast. Up towards Cadiz. Pleasant enough, eh? Forecast is for it to be finer this afternoon, so should warm up as we go. We're a couple of hours out of Cadiz. And again, it's one of those glorious days. Not much good for sailing, but just beautiful. Tipping along. What a day to be going anywhere. Super. 
these. We're going to pass it in. There's a couple of marinas there just behind the wall, but we've decided to go across the bay. And there's a little town over there called Santa Maria. And the marina is called Cod Mac Sherry. It's called Puerto Sherry. Because Cod Mac Sherry is in Cork, like. And this might be Puerto Sherry, but it's not Cork, like. Seven thirty in the morning, and Mr. Joe Rich leaves the boat seer shaft for the last time. Maybe not for the last time. <laughs> But certainly for this time. And he's off on his trip. Well, I'm happy enough. Yeah, yeah. Got his plans made. We think that's his taxi has just arrived. Everything just perfectly on time. It was great. Yeah, you find yourself. Yeah. And just like that. Well oh done. Morning. Yeah. What a blast though. What a couple of months, yeah. Right, safe trip, kid. All the best. Talk to you later. Probably later today. <laughs> yeah, bye bye. Yeah, cheers. Yeah. I think if it wasn't for that guy, we probably wouldn't have had the trip in the first place. Because, well, if you've watched the earlier episodes, you know. When we were back in Left Cad, we weren't at all sure we were going to go on the trip because the weather was so bad and the thing became so daunting but in the end we met the right people and we got the job done